What's going on everyone? This is Tony with MusicGuyOnline.com. Got your three minute mix fix video tip tutorial of the week. And uh, this week we're following up with something on something that we did last week where I talked about how to just kind of tweak the pitch of a sour note that's a little bit off, uh, sharp or flat, and uh, making it fit in with the key of the song. Um, in this case, it was part of a lead guitar part, so all the focus is on this part. And uh, as such, the notes need to be right. In this case, this last note was a little sour. It was a little uh, sharp. Let's hear it without the correction. You can hear that. A little bit too sharp there, so... So I fixed it by dropping the tuning by 31 cents. And uh, I was listening back to that after I finished the video and thinking to myself, that's still a little bit off. And uh, the problem is, you know, we need to fix these notes, make them in the key of the song so they don't sound off, obviously. But uh, the problem can be sometimes we have ear fatigue after listening to our mix for hours on end. It's always good to take a step away, always good to come back with a fresh set of ears. But in this case, we don't have to do that because we can just slap a tuner on the same track right here. And now we can let this play. I was going to say that note before it sounded a little bit sharp too. But one thing at a time, we're focusing on this right here. And you'll see with that tuner, and any basic DAW is going to have this, just slap that on and it's going to show you how far off it is. Uh, in this case... They're showing you down at the scent, about 25 cents off. So let's go back to this. It's still sharp. So we'll come back to this, and let's add 25 cents, which, remember, we're going backwards here, so let's add 19 to get to 50. And we probably want to go to about 45, or uh, 55 flatter than the note is. So let's hear that. There we go. Look at that. Right in tune. And now I might go ahead while we're at it and not assume, you know, I would just drag it and assume that, well, let's just do that. Let's drag it. So now this preceding part is now dropped 55 cents. Let's see what it thinks of that. Obviously, this one note wasn't nearly as bad as this note here. Um, so we don't need to correct it that much. Instead, let's isolate this note this time. And just drop this maybe about 20. We don't even have to guess because remember, we have the visual right here. I just happened to get it right right there. But uh, if I had undone that, it says right there, you can see. It's about 20, 25 cents. A little bit sharp in this case. So if we just redo what we just did. And there we go. Now the whole bit is fixed. So, you probably don't want to do this if the whole thing is drastically out of tune, you know, you might have just the uh, the player, whoever the guitarist would have been, to touch that up, redo it again. But if it's just a couple sour notes like this, um, and obviously it's going to, you know, maybe move around the notes every now and then, especially when you're moving fast down a fretboard or bending a little bit. But when it's one or two notes, we can just easily pick these out and then combine the tuner with that to see spot on without having to rely on our ears where that note is meant to be. All right, so great if you've been mixing all day and you've got a bit of that ear fatigue and, uh, you know, takes the guesswork out of it. So there you go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. We do these videos every week. I am Tony with Music Guy Online, and I'll see you next time.